All right, here with Jeff Mayweather inside the Mayweather Boxing Club. I guess my, my ban has been lifted. Thank you, Jeff, for taking the time and allowing me in, in into your space. Yeah. Get out. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, I want to talk a little bit about this upcoming fight between Ryan Garcia and Devin Haney. A fight, uh, you know, obviously these guys have a huge history going back to the amateurs fighting multiple times there. What do you think about this fight finally being made? Um, I think it's, it's great because... I mean, I think all those guys in that weight class or that moved up in weight class, I mean, you know, it's it's so many great matches that could be made between them. And um and this is one that I think that um should have been made and and it's finally getting made. Do you think Ryan should maybe have had a couple more wins cuz it seems like maybe it's a maybe not a top guy for Devin at the moment considering, you know, a couple fights ago he just got knocked out by by Tank Davis. Well, getting knocked out by Tank Davis don't mean nothing. Everybody, among, about 95% of the fighters that fought Tank Davis have been knocked out by him. So losing the Tank, is there's nothing embarrassing or anything bad of losing, losing the Tank. What do you think about the, the way they've handled things? I mean, I think maybe Ryan seems to be the more physically gifted fighter, um, but Devin, I think, maybe takes his job more seriously than anybody at that division. Very, very serious at his craft. And and do you think that could play into the result of the fight, whereas you have Ryan who might be physically gifted but seems to be as interested, if not more interested, in, in things going on outside of boxing and being a social media star and being a celebrity, that kind of thing, whereas Devin seems to be 100% focused on the sport? Well, I don't, I don't think, I don't necessarily know. I mean, we don't, I don't think nobody really knows with Ryan if, you know, how serious he, I don't think he take the social media stuff as serious as, as boxing, because boxing is his livelihood. But I do think that, you know, Devin, Devin works extremely hard. And, um, and I mean, he's been working hard because, I mean, I, I know him personally and I, I've, I've worked with him myself. And, I'm, and he was a kid that at, at the age of, I think, about 13 is when I was working with him. And I told his dad then, I said that his son is going to be world champion one day. And that day has already happened. So I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised. And Devin works extremely hard. So um, I just I'm looking forward to the fight because I think it's going to be a great fight, and um, I think it's going to be a great fight for the fans. Um, the one thing that that Devin said was, you know, he said Ryan's a quitter, right? He said, you know, watching that Tank Davis fight, he quit in that fight. Uh, you know, glancing blow that took him out. He took a knee and quit. And he said, "Once a quitter, always a quitter." And he sees him quitting again. D uh, well, I think that's just that's that's just what you say when you're fighting your opponent because that's a knack, that's something that you can you can talk about. But I mean, he he got hit, you know, he got hit, in, he got hit in the body, and yeah, a lot of guys won't get up from that. So you don't think he was looking for a way out at that point? I don't. I don't think so. I think uh, I think I think he I think he he couldn't get up. Yeah. Well, to answer that question, though, if he was right, you know, you, you've been around boxing for a long time, boxer yourself. Is that true, though? Once you, you kind of look for that easy way out, that just kind of becomes part of your nature? I mean, you can look for the easy way out, but I don't think he looked for the easy way out. I mean, I think he got he got hit in the body, and, and a lot of times, sometimes you get hit in, the, hit in the body, it's worse than getting hit in the face sometimes. Mm -hmm. who, who do you think, or what do you think each guy needs to do to win this fight? Um, I think. I mean, if you're if you're training Ryan, what do you need to do to beat Devin Haney? Um, well, he had to utilize his speed, but in utilizing his speed, he had to let his hands go a lot, you know. And um, I don't know. I think for for Devin to beat him, Devin has to you know Devin has to fight fight smart like like he normally does most of his fights. Um. And I think it's. I think that, like I said, I think it's going to be a great fight for for the fans. I mean, I, I think that a lot of people probably think that this fight might not be that exciting, but I think that this fight going to be exciting. What do you? Are you happy in boxing? It seems like we've gotten some more interesting fights over the past couple of years. We went through a little period of kind of not too much going on. It's exciting to see these guys finally. Uh, yeah, get I at mean, it. when when you have a bunch of young guys that. You know, all around the same age, all around the same same weight division. I mean, you actually want to see those fights happen, and um, 
after the Tank and, and Ryan fight been made, I mean, most of these guys now are taking chances, you know, not trying to hold on to their belts and things like that. They're, they're going ahead and, and taking a risk. All right, so who wins the fight? I think I think Devin wins the fight. Hmm. Fight decision. All right, Jeff. Thanks for not yelling at me. Yeah, motherfucker. Appreciate Don't it. Put that on.